Hello everybody, my name is KevGuy378 and welcome to a new series I'm starting called If My Heart Had Wings. It's a new visual novel I never really heard about, but people uh, have said good things about it, so I think it's, it's awesome to uh, try this out. So without further ado, let's get started. Kono Uzora ni Tsubasa wo wo hiru gete. The bicycle road race is known as a really harsh sport. Oh. The hill climb in the middle is hell too. While putting strain on every muscle in your body, you have to continue pedaling without any brakes to climb a steep hill. And at that time, I always think, I can't do this anymore. I'll make this race my last. Even though I think that every time in the end, I still have part in the next race. I've endured severe training so that I don't put my feet down halfway through the hill climb. Why did I do that? Because once I finish the hill climb, I am waiting for my reward. Nothing compares to the feeling of cutting through the wind as I race down the downhill section at blistering speed. At that moment, I feel an incredible rush. Then, I realize that I have forgotten about everything. The pain of the hill climb, the strain on every muscle in my body, and the days of hard practice. It's not a matter of whether I win or lose the race. I just enjoy it, and that's why I continue to ride. That's how it should have been. I still didn't have much life experience at that time, and it was something beyond my imagination. Suddenly, without warning, something was taken from me. I could also say, shut away, or lost. However, to directly express the emotion I felt at that time, taken is the word that fits best. So, there was one thing that I had learned. Life isn't all about having fun. I gained a lesson in life. The thing I lost was everything. I let myself get depressed about this, but I should have thought about it a little more. If something could be taken from me so abruptly, then something could be given to me just as suddenly. The wind blew. A gentle but strong wind. It would not be unreasonable to call it an encounter. What this could be the start of, even now, there's still no way for me to know. The windmill is turning. People are overwhelmed just because of the size of such enormous things. This, un this unnatural silhouette serves a function, but to those who don't know what that is, it would appear to be something very bizarre. With so many lined up like this, it could be said to be even more overwhelming. But why is that? The sight of the white windmills lined up on the green hills somehow seems so picturesque. Aoi? 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 This is amazing to think that something like this could be made. At the very least, five years ago, there's nothing here, just a wide open space. I heard they were going to build a large-scale renewable energy research facility. 
The cell phone in my pocket vibrated to tell me I had received a text. It's from Anchan. Tsiao, did you arrive here already? Sorry I couldn't come to meet you. My name is Ren using a Chinese character read as Aoi. It's a difficult character and is often mistaken for Midori. Incidentally, whether it is Aoi or Midori is often mistaken for a girl's name, which causes a few problems. I'll quickly reply I'll quickly write a reply. I hardly ever use text, so I find the key touch awkward to use. I got here a little too early, so I'm just going for a stroll. The windmills are amazing. Okay, send. What happened to me then? It was taken away from me. Hmm. The reply came quickly. They're great, aren't they? It's a new famous spot of Kazeguara. If you have any problem, contact me anytime. Anchan. Thank you, Anchan. As I sent the text, I sat down on the grass. This place is on the hillside, so from there I was able to gaze at the lake and the town that stretches across the opposite bank. The rapid redevelopment of the town of Kaziguara meant that the rem remnants of the old buildings from the Showa era are intermingled with the modern architecture. The view expresses both the past and the future at the same time. Hmm? Something white flitted across my field of vision. For a moment, it looked like one of the windmill blades had come flying off, but there's no way that could happen. Is it a paper airplane? I got up and headed down the slope to look for it. The paper airplane, gliding gently, eventually lost its momentum and descended. Gotcha. I ran ahead of it did a small jump and caught it in mid-air. Where did this come flying from? Judging by direction, it had come from the top of the hill. At a time in a place like this, could there be someone here besides me? I took the paper airplane with me as I climbed up the slope. Just as I was able to see the top, A sudden gust of strong wind blew the paper airplane out of my hand. Ah, hey, wait. I chased after the paper airplane and ran up the slope. If my heart had wings in Japanese, that was probably what it said there. Tedos screen. Then, just as I finally caught it, oh, hello there. Oh. There was someone on top of the hill. It was a girl sitting in a wheelchair. Looking fleetingly into the distant sky, a sudden breeze blew her hair and she combed it back with her fingers. Against the background of the blue sky and windmills that spread across my view, the girl's black hair and white blouse looked incredible. It was as if I was looking at a completed work of art. The girl noticed me. Uh, um, at first I thought I should make an excuse for why I was there. It was like I had stepped into her world without permission and I started to feel guilty. She's not saying anything. Some guy had just suddenly appeared, so perhaps she's being cautious. To show her the reason why I'd come here, I held out the paper airplane. Did you throw this? The moment she saw it, her facial expression stiffened. 
She looks like she's swelling up. Suddenly, tears appeared in those delicate eyes. Huh? What? The tears that had welled up in the corners of her eyes came running straight down. As I watched, great big tears came rolling down her cheeks. Huh? Ah, hey. Without thinking, I walked up beside her. What's wrong? Do you hurt somewhere? <laughs> as she shook her head, she touched the hand that I had unconsciously held out as if she were clinging to it. Her hand was small and trembling. Squeeze. She gently squeezed my hand. It's okay now. I didn't even know what the situation was. However, as I answered, I squeezed her hand back. Ow! Ouch! Before I knew it, there was something like a chicken at my feet and all of a sudden I started it started pecking me. Peck, peck, peck. Ow, that hurts. What is this thing? Hat, as it was called, calmed down at her command. Is that chicken? Not like a duck. Or a goose. No, it's, I think it's a goose. Um, is it a duck? The yellow beak and white feathers. It was a duck that looked like a chicken. For some reason, it was wearing a hat. It seems like he mistakenly thought. Oh, sorry. Ah. So this is how surprising it is to be suddenly attacked by an animal. However, thanks to that, it looked like she had stopped crying. Is a towel okay? I don't carry a handkerchief around with me. As I said that without waiting for her to reply, I took a hand towel out of my bag. Of course, it had been washed, so it was clean. Why were you crying? If it hurts somewhere. As she answered, she pointed to one of the wheels of her wheelchair. It had lost its air and it had collapsed. You got a flat tire? That's a terrible thing to happen. Just a mere flat tire for her is like having her legs taken away. Don't you have a cell phone? She answered, dismayed. SOS? Oh, this? I opened up the paper airplane that I still had in my hand. I'm in trouble. Someone help me. I'm on Windmill Hill. So when someone arrived carrying the paper airplane, she felt relieved and started to cry? Now she was fine, but until just now, she was shaking. That must be how scared she was. Hold on a moment. The bag at my feet rustled as I rummaged around inside it. When she saw the tools that I had, had taken out, she seemed confused. Would it be okay for you to get out for a moment? I'm gonna fix it. Can't go anywhere if you have a flat tire, can you? Of course, getting out of the wheelchair is not easy for her. 
Um, what should I do? From the methods I'd seen on TV, the care workers do it by embracing them from the front. We both looked as though we'd imagined that situation and froze. Excuse me a moment. As I put my arms around her sides to her back, I suddenly lifted her up. Whoa, she's so light. Because she was much lighter than I, than I had expected, there was a bit too much momentum. Hup. Before she could grasp the situation, I put her down on the soft grass. I'll have it done soon, so hold on a moment. Oh, that's me? Oh man, I'm so handsome. They're made in the same way as bicycle tires. I immediately started on the repairs. And with that, everyone, I uh, hope you guys li um, like the series. I, I, th I think I'm starting to like it. Um, even if I just started this video, I, I, I think it's... I, I feel like it's like a romance uh, type of visual novel, and I, I really enjoy those kinds a lot. And, well, thank you for watching this video, everyone. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, please subscribe to me and like this video. I would appreciate it so much, and it would help a lot. Thank you, everybody, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.